As I was going through those stories, I was thinking to myself, why am I the only one having to do this, right? Everybody else had the stories, <laughs> I did not, right? Once you get to talk to those 11 people, you get a chance to see like what they care about and especially so when it comes to commissions. So you would need to generate 22 million if you want to make uh, $5 million in addition to what you've made so far. Oh, instead of making 21 million, you need to make now only 20 million because you closed that deal. So now you need to make less in order to reach the $5 million target that you had set for yourself. Yeah. How cool would it be to have an AE walk out of the meeting, say, instead of making 50, I made 150, plugs it in, sees what amount of money he'll be making. Until now, what we have been doing is, we've been just assigning analysts according to the time zone they are in, and according to how many analysts we have. So we thought of a connected solution, which is driven by analytics of the historical data. Based on that analysis, there's just one data that he needs to punch in and then all the shifts are automatically assigned. And this actually tells you that um, all of the shifts are being covered or not and all of the time intervals are being covered or not. So overall, it provides a 24-7 um, coverage of, of, the support of the customer care team and it provides a real-time uh, monitoring of the support agents. Currently, what is happening is that the FPNA works with on PBF and then generates the output in Excel. It goes to HR, they review it, they come back with new assumptions or new scenarios and go back to FPNA and it creates a vicious cycle of siloed planning. What corporate planning model does is it breaks down and goes into granularities of planning for each individual benefit, whether it's medical, 401k, retirement, maternity, and it goes down to also break it down onto each country level, how much we are going to associate for every country. This is the cash thing. This is what the HR would be interested in. But if we go further down, we can actually see how it's being expensed. Expense, for some of you who are not aware, is how FPNA plans the waterfall. Since you're picking on Christoph, if I, if I select Christoph again here, I can see what the headcount for each of his cost centers is. And again, an overall summary of his on-target earnings. When we started this project, uh, what we wanted to do was look at who do we want to see using this model and what should they, you know, uh, how should they use it. So currently all of that information was kind of being fed into a, a fuzzy box that was filled with Excel spreadsheets and PowerPoints uh, and the goal that we had was to put Anaplan into that box. But ultimately we think that this is a, an opportunity to use our, our platform to make well informed decisions with regards to innovation. Every, he wants everyone in engineering to understand uh, their mission and how they fit in, and I think that's what uh, this tool is going to give them. The, the important question is, is why is this important, and Frank, you already alluded to this, that it does, it fills in a point in the honeycomb that I don't think we've quite filled in yet. Is it the new UX? Yeah, this yeah. is new UX. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Looks fancy, right? <laughs> plan now we want to hire more like the experienced employee like in the middle level and we can say they do care about the 401k match and we can use those reports to say like how can we attract them when we hire them and how can we retain them we can analyze all those participation and contribution report to understand employees behavior the reason we want to understand their behavior is we can do like forecasting and budgeting like during the months we pay out the bonus we just need to prepare more cash to for them for 1k match and next one is we can use those reports to build a better benefits system so i learned a lot about tech you know working with those guys and got tremendous interest in tech even if it was virtually when i thought the most important, right? exactly and when i thought that i'd never be able to reach the stage and i think it's like ready to deliver this model to our customers since I think most companies still use spreadsheet to do their 401k. I built a clock-in model uh, in after two weeks of training uh, which we used through the internship. So basically the idea is that you can do whatever you want. 